Also, we are hosting a next level resale. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another day in the life of a UK eBay reseller. If you don't know who I am, my name is Kieran. I run Rummage Around here. I'm a full-time eBay and Amazon reseller. Follow this channel for reselling journeys like today. So without further ado, let's crack on with the day. Where the first job is, enter that charity shop and see if we can find anything to flip on eBay. I was tempted with these, but they're £15 for a pair of Adidas Stan Smiths. £15 is, uh, yeah, there's not enough meat on the bone for them, I'm afraid, but they are a decent little pair of shoes. If, you should be able to get like 25 30 for them, but yeah, not enough money at 15 quid. So I'll be putting them back and hopefully they'll come down in price soon. I am very much tempted with this sort of like, it's like double collared jacket, shacket sort of thing. Six quid. That's a little beauty, isn't it? Like Timberland, decent brand, decent size, decent time to put that on. I think I'm going to give that a punt. But I think that's all we're going to take from the shop. All right, on to the second charity shop. Oh, I do love this brand, a little bit of all this. How much is this? It's like six quid or under four pound. Nice walking trousers. Yeah, we'll take them. Uh, all this large, bosh. This has to be one of the greatest memes from one of the greatest TV shows ever. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what I'm on about. What a finger beauty. <laughs> I don't really know how I've ended up buying potentially a baby changing bag, but it's brand new. It's got his mat and look at that. You can wear it as a rucksack as well. That, that will sell really well. £10. I found one very, very similar, if not the exact one, on eBay for £45. So, uh, yeah, we'll definitely be getting that. That baby changing bag is absolutely beautiful. Alrighty then, the last charity shop that we're going to go to today before we go to the unit and pick and pack some orders is Bernardo's. So let's see what Bernardo's has to offer today. And then, like I said, we'll go to the unit and do some work. I don't think there's much resale in this, but two pack XL. A little bit of me this, I might pick it up for myself. A river that flows forever for mother. That's a sick t-shirt, it's like a nice big boxy fit as well. How much is that? Four quid. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it, I think. That's awesome. Also, I don't know why they're here. Ah, uh, there's a big hole in the ankle. Damn, that is a shame. These are probably like a 45 pound pair of trainers. They're a pair of Nike Air Max Commands. Like I said, they've got a hole. Uh, that is a shame. You see that, that hole just in the ankle there. And that's not even a small hole, that's a big hole. So, I think, that's probably why they've been left there. That's unfortunate. Because I probably would have, well, no, probably I would have 100% picked them up if they were in better condition. We have a pair of white stuff loafers, but they only want two pounds. I'm trying to figure out why it's so cheap. I generally cannot find anything on the reason why they're two pound. Like, I know the shop and they price them reasonably well, but not that cheap. Two pound for a pair of white stuff loafers. Yes, please. Alrighty then, we have made it back to the unit. Righty then, we've got 18 parcels that need picking. So I'm gonna run around the unit now and pick all them parcels and tell you a little bit of what's sold over the weekend. So I'll catch you up in a second. Batch number one has been picked. We sold an England shirt for $26.95, a broken Xbox One for 25 a couple of these Fuji films and Olympus memory cards. They sold for $19.95. Uh, this one definitely sold for $19.95. If it will focus, you're just going to have to believe me. A pair of Sockney sold for $29.99. We got them from America from a Goodwill, which was always nice. And I think that's staying in the UK. I think that's staying in Liverpool, to be fair, to be fair. But a pair of All Saint flip-flops as well. That sold for 15... Yeah, 15 quid. Not the best flip, but certainly not the worst. Also, just picked up all these as well. Just picking these. These sold for £100. You know the score by these now. A pair of DMs. We bought loads and loads of them back in the day. Sold a pair of emus. Obviously, we're going to take the tag of what we paid, we sold them for 17.99, and as you can see, we paid a pound. Sold this Yu-Gi-Oh DS, um, absolutely battered on the back. It doesn't even have a back. Sold that for 30. Minecraft sold for 11. 
wacky races sold for 15 pair of all saints sort of like standard plimsolls they sold for 25 and a nintendo wii controller with the wii motion sensor with a silicone case sold for 17.95 a couple pairs of jeans diesels seven for all mankind sold for 25 diesels sold for 25 so yes, as you can see, we have a hell of a lot of items to pack. The Xbox One Faulty being probably the hardest one. Uh, the DMs boxed is pretty difficult as well because we do box the boxes. Um, but yeah, let's get all that packed. And now I'll put you guys on a time lapse from multiple different angles. And you can just see me working away. <laughs> there we have it this is the aftermath of the packing now all i've got to do is print some labels off and slap them on the parcels all right so now i'm going to print some labels off highly recommend top cash back because you can get cash back from literally just typing in wherever you want to shop and there is thousands and thousands upon thousands of shops on here and parcel to go is in fact one of them shops um you do get 1.05 percent if an existing customer and that is literally all i have to do to get one percent cash back on my postage today which doesn't sound a lot i am aware however if you do one percent of every single postage charge throughout the year it does add up and like i said you can use that website to almost every single retail shop out there Argos, Asda, Tesco's, Curry's, Disney, everything, almost every single thing that you can think of. If you go through parcel to go up uh, through top cash back, sorry, you'll be able to get a kickback into your account. I think last year I just did under three hundred pound back from purchases, which is incredible. And the website I use for my postage is a parcel to go. Righty oh, let's find a home for all of these. Righty then. Well, now we've done all the picking and the packing, we've got the two worst jobs out of the way. We can start listing. So that'll be our first four listings there. Alrighty then. So we're gonna list these four cards now. One's actually a Gem Mint 10 Ace Grade, and I do love the ace grade and top like the border is awesome one that on whatnot for absolutely nothing so should be able to get like 40 to 50 quid on that not bad considering i literally paid absolutely zilch uh paid 20 quid for this and i'm going to list that for 100 quid because it's 35 out of 99 so only nine of these 99 cards of these exist and i've got 35 and they are actually signed by the man himself, Simon Minter. And these sort of aqua refractor ones, they are out of 250 and they're commanding about £15 each. So we'll get these four listed now. Nice, easy listings to start the week off nicely. Also, we are hosting a next level resale listing challenge. So I will be putting my numbers in at the end of the day. So I do want to get off to a good start. I think we've got a fair few members involved in this challenge so we're going to stay on top or stay maybe not on top but stay within the top 10 would be nice so uh yeah let's crack on and get these listed right now so i'm gonna pack this up we'll pre-pack it in one of these sleeves so i got these off of vinny so thank you very much vinny huge shout out to mad for miniatures for supplying me with these and they just help protect the slab in question and then it's going to go in my slabbed PSA graded card box. And then the other cards are gonna go in my ETB Hidden Fates tin. And that's it really. My graded cards go on the top one and my normal sort of cards go on the bottom one. Next job, because I am seeing Jack tomorrow, um, which I'm hoping to record by the way, because it'll be quite cool to go and see his uh, setup. I've known Jack for Dobbins for ages. Um, I've left my JFJ, which would clean these normally. Um, in Spalding. So while I'm at Jack's, I'm hoping that he can do me a huge favour and we can get some video games cleaned while we are there. But I've got a lot more video games that are scratched than that, so I just need to quickly go and find them. I'm not sure if any of these... I don't think any of these are worth me actually taking with me because they're just like Wii Fits and Just Dance. So there's not that pile. 
There's a few discs here that I wouldn't mind getting cleaning, so I'll take them with me tomorrow as well. Right, we've got nine games, I think, that'll, that'll do for today. We've got Mortal Kombat Deception. What a game, by the way. Wii Sports, Crash Bash, probably one of my favourite, if not my favourite ever games. Crash Bandicoot 2, Forza Horizon 4 on the Xbox One. Just Dance 2016, again, an absolute classic here. This Simpsons hit and run, but I have tested it, and for some reason, even though it doesn't look that bad, we have got a nice, like, deep scratch there. I'm hoping we can get that spun out with Jack's Machine. Spyro New Beginning and Harry Potter Years 1 to 4. That is probably the least valuable game uh, in this pile, but while I'm going to Jack's, I might as well take them with me. But I should really go back down to Spalding and pick up my JFJ because I'm pretty sure the JFJ would be sufficient enough to get them scratches out. But uh, me being me, that's not the case. Actually, I just remembered I could do with this being cleaned as well. Right, next job is get this power cable listed. This is for the Xbox One. It should be like 20 quid all day long in that. I seem to have a real big problem finding Xbox Ones that actually work, but uh, it's okay because the power supply is worth about 18 to 20 quid anyway. So just bear that in mind when you are buying a faulty Xbox One because you can still profit. I've sold an Xbox One today in today's video and packed it up for £25 and now I'm going to list this for 20 So as you can see, that's £45 from a broken Xbox. That's not bad if I do say so myself. Right, we're in the car. We're off to the every drop-off. Parcels dropped. Oh, and that is day done. I have been non-stop on next level resale call meetings well team meetings for the last two and a bit hours so i'm going to end it today it's currently eight o'clock and i need to get this video to my editor to get uh, edited ready for tomorrow it's yeah we're all on a bit of a tight schedule at the moment so thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy the video smash that like button subscribe if you're new around here for more reselling related content follow me on my reselling journey anyway i'll see you beautiful lot on thursday i believe because i think this is come out tuesday bish Bash, bosh.